Hey guys, Austin with the uh, Living Lastly here. Uh, we wanted to put together a little video for you guys that uh, just started following us. Um, we really appreciate it, by the way, um, following this journey that we're on. Um, and we wanted to put together something just to kind of show you who we are, uh, why we did what we did, and uh, what we're all about. Um, we have two little ones, uh, Rudy, she's three, and Arlo, he's two. Um, and then we have two fur babies. Piper is our boxer, and Gertie is our little uh, mutt, yeah, <laughs> if yeah. you will. Yeah, we're, uh, we're originally from Mustang, Oklahoma. Um, we've been married for eight years now, uh, in April of this year. Going on eight years, yeah. yeah going almost, on eight years. Eight almost eight years. years. Yeah. Um, we, our, our two mottos, um, the end, or the end of last year and going into this year that we've kind of, uh, I don't know, adapted, I guess, our let it go to gain it all <laughs> and uh, live in light and love in life. Um, we just want to take a second to tell you a little bit about our story and our journey. Yep. Here here's one, one of our crazies. So here's little this Arlo. is Arlo. Arlo, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, oh yeah. You want to play that? right here um and uh, so in May we got a crazy kind of idea that you know what if we sold our house and everything basically in it yeah. and traveled in a fifth wheel with Austin whenever he had to travel for work which um, mind you we neither one of us had ever been in uh, <laughs> never camped or camping like yeah. this uh, never no. pulled I mean, a trailer we tent this camped size. for like a weekend here and yeah. there when we would go like float the river or whatever but nothing uh to this extent we never stayed in a camper before yeah. uh either of us um but anyways we so one. we started researching our say idea hi, oh this is rudy hi. she's hi. three <laughs> say hi honestly what it's like 24 7 yep. we're all together uh so a lot of our videos if you decide to follow our journey will be with the kids in the background the dogs in the background us running around like crazy so anyways we started researching this crazy idea that we got and uh little did we know there is a whole entire community out there of rvers full-time rvers part-time rvers um the community that we found was extraordinary um we had no idea that this life even existed and it just really excited us and um, we kind of, uh, I guess, just developed in watching these people's journeys um, that we started following, we developed a new way of thinking. Um, we decided we wanted our kids to grow up uh, a little bit different and maybe with more experiences, less things. Um, just kind of teach them a different mentality. We decided to start going and just touring some fifth wheels, um, bumper pulls, just to kind of see what we uh, liked and if there were there was going to be a floor plan that would work for us. Yeah. Um, oh my God, we were blown away. <laughs> first of the all, options. the Holy options cow. are endless. Uh, there are so many different brands, different kinds, different floor plans. Uh, we were very overwhelmed. Um, so we kind of. I, I don't know, we just, uh, we decided pretty quickly if this wheel was gonna fit our needs. Yeah, yeah uh, we had looked best. at diesel pushers, you know, class A's, the big ones you drive. The fifth wheel just, I think it fit us better. Just how the layouts yeah. were and, and having the vehicle that we could pull instead of having to tow a vehicle. Um, so that's that's why we went with the fifth wheel and it's worked out great yeah. for us. And, and I mean, we, we looked and looked and looked. Yeah. We went through, I don't know how many. <laughs> yeah, so After we went and, and looked and kind of toured through some and realized, I think we could do this. Because even though our house that we lived in was 2,200 square foot, our kids and our dogs were seriously everywhere we, we were, went. Yeah. You know, there's still no privacy in, um, for us and our family. Um, so once we decided, like, hey, we could do this, um, then we. Uh, decided amongst ourselves let's just do it we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna go for it and so after that the first step I would say was probably the hardest for me 
which was um, breaking the news to our family and our friends. And I'm a hairstylist and I've been doing hair for eight years. And um, so breaking the news to my clients that I was gonna be leaving, um, and that was all very emotional for me and very hard. So that was really our first, I guess, official step was telling everyone. Um, surprisingly, everyone took it really well. Um, I know people are, we're sad, um, especially, you know, to not get to see the kids all the time. But I think ultimately, everyone was really excited for us in this new journey and just to kind of see what, what we were going to do oh, and like, who, like, who does this? <laughs> and so, which is a um, lot of people, by the way. Yeah, we which is, out. which is a lot. Uh, we, the uh, second step was, I'm a minivan mom, so I sold, um, we traded in, or actually I sold my minivan uh, to my grandpa, so I still get to see her. She's in the family. Um, and we uh, purchased our dually, yep. um, which was, was gonna pull our, our new house on wheels. So we put our house on the market. Um, we started selling uh, rooms that we weren't using. Um, like our, our upstairs bonus room was really just a kid's playroom, um, but we had like a couch and stuff up there. and. Um, so we just started selling basically everything that we weren't use, using every single day. It went faster than we thought. <laughs> like as soon as we started, it was just like zoom. You know, we were moving into our fifth will and the house was gone. Um, it At first it was a little bit, I don't know, scary selling everything. Sure. And, um, we, we thought to ourselves a couple of times, are we doing the right thing? Um, when we started getting rid of some of the kids' toys, like their trampoline or their dollhouse that was um, in the backyard and some of those bigger items that we knew we couldn't take on the road with us, uh, you know, I thought, oh my God, like, are we taking away everything that they've known? Um, you know, these items that they like to play with. And at the end of the day, that's exactly what it was. They were items. And once they were gone, it was out of sight, out of mind. The kids didn't even, honestly, all they really want is for us to play with them and for us to be with them. That, that's what this slide does, right? I mean, I work during the day still, just like a you know normal normal job, and um, when I'm done, my time is literally with the kids and Tara. Yeah, I mean, we get to kind of just do whatever. I mean, of course, you still have to clean and cook and yeah, things and like things that. Happen, right? um, but gosh, I mean, cleaning, uh, and yes, in a small space, this this place gets messy in 2.3 seconds. I mean, it is super quick and the whole place looks like a tornado ran through it. But it also only takes me 15 to 30 minutes to kind of go through and clean up everything too. The rig that we have now um, in Texas, we same found it online and we hadn't seen it yet. It was six hour drive we had looked at We had looked at similar, the same floor plan just a year yeah. older in Oklahoma. Um, and we knew the floor plan would work, but we didn't, and we had saw pictures, but we didn't, you know, you don't know until you get in it. But, um, once we got there, it was great, and we, uh, we we loved it from the time we got to stay a night on on their lot and kind of understand it. And then the next day, they oh my god, they did a walkthrough. <laughs> and this, you know, this is where the unexperienced campers comes into play because during the walkthrough, my mind I wish I would have recorded it because my mind was blown. We we're about to hook up to it for the very first time, which I'd never pulled anything this size. Um, you know that that was intimidating for sure, uh, but it went okay. Um, we, you know, pulled it for the first time. It was like a six-hour drive. The first the first drive back to Oklahoma um, went well. Everything was fine. Um, we had the rig for uh, two two weeks before the house closed. We basically had two weeks to move into it. Yeah. Um, so we parked it at a local RV park in Mustang. Um, and just kind of went back and forth every day. Uh, Decided what we needed, what we didn't. Yeah. But what we have on us now is basically everything that we own yep. um, in 371 square feet. Yep. Uh, so we went from 2,200 square feet to 371 square feet. Yep. Um, but we're loving yep. every... You gotta say 371 because every square foot matters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one extra yeah. foot yep. makes a huge difference. Um, we're loving it though. Oh, yeah. um, for us, everyone keeps asking us, how long are you guys gonna do this? Especially our family. Um, you know, how long do you guys plan on staying gone? Um, and for right now, for us, we don't see an end in sight. It's four months in. Yeah, four months. And it's flown by, and the people we've met is incredible. The, the community is incredible, it's very helpful. The experiences that we've done. You know, at the end of the day, this life isn't for everybody. Uh, it turns yeah. out it seems to be for us as of right now. And our 
where we're at in life. Um, so it's been it's been awesome. Uh, one of the biggest questions that we get um, all the time are how are the kids doing? And even though you know with the kids being as young as they are and they're not in school, they're really close together. One's three and one's two, so they are each other's friends. Um, but this community um, is cr like it's it's awesome. Uh, they get to play with new kids all the time, and the, the kids are thriving. Think, they think, they love it. I think for us too, that's kind of a downfall. We've met pretty amazing people yeah, yeah. and then either we leave or they yeah, leave yeah, and you yeah, never yeah. know you know are you gonna see them again or, or what <laughs> that's probably one of the biggest there downfalls but it's not really that big because you can always do that <laughs> and our life <laughs> <laughs> yes because you can always plan to meet up with them later and um, you can always stay in touch yeah. well I just wanted to say that uh, we're, we're making these videos and documenting our journeys because for once for one we feel like this is a chance of a lifetime um, and we want to make sure that we capture all of it for us for our memories for the kids for you know them to look back on when they get older um, but then we also just feel compelled to share it with everyone and let them know that you know it's okay to step out of the norm um, and do something a little bit different. If it works for you and it works for your family, don't be scared to try it. If we can inspire someone, then even just one person, then that's cool for us. <laughs> so, sure. anyways, uh, that's us. We're living last yeah. night. If you guys have any questions for us or any like, you know, wonders, what's a normal day like, or you know, whatever, yeah. shoot us questions because we want to make more videos and we want to answer everyone. Uh, questions and thoughts they may have. Yeah, so. so we want to thank y'all for watching. If you've watched it all the way through, um, okay, I'll turn it off. We look forward to talking with you. Thanks, Cheers. guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Cut again. We're on the second page. Um. Three, two, one. Yeah, um, you know, we've seen things. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they okay, stop it? No. No. Um, you know, so I mean, long story short, we love it. Um, you know, we just wanted to make this video to kind of introduce ourselves to, you know, people that might not know Go us. Go chase Bubba. That might not know us or, um, you know, just started following us, which we really appreciate, um, you know, the, out, the outreach and, and people, you know, <laughs> engaging with us. That's what we want. Uh, I feel right. like you're rambling. I kind of am <laughs> rambling because my, my brain is like scared. Okay, we'll just cut that part and I'll say, um, we, uh, after, because we said we were loving it, um, okay, because I can't, you keep, you've got to focus. If I, if I, I walk man. away, if I walk away to do them, then you've got to just keep rolling with it, okay? And then I'll come back in. You walked away and I had to talk. Yeah, so just start. So, so I, I um, just talked about putting the house up. Um, okay, did you already talk about selling everything? Uh, yeah, well, we've talked about that a few times, right? Um, about how the motion and stuff. Where do you go? Yeah, so you pick it up, um, started selling everything, and you go for that. In three, two, one. <laughs> So, I'm back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you can cut that, right? Yeah. That's going. Cool. <laughs>